Hi, I'm Bert. I have a farm and I grow various crops on sandy soil. I've switched my farm from conventional to organic farming, which means that I can't use any chemical pesticides. So I started looking for a mechanical way of controlling weeds, and I asked Lemkin for help. Hello, Hello. Hello Hans Hoekland. I'm Bert, and I'm having some problems with weeds here. Okay, let's have a look. Look, there are weeds everywhere in the row, and I can't get rid of them. Yes, and we really do need to get them out, because otherwise they become a problem. I think we've got something for that. Shall we go ahead and take a look? Let's do that. Okay, and then I'll explain a bit. I'll be happy to tell you about it. This is the machine. So, what have we got here? Well, one special feature of this particular machine is that it has a parallel steering frame. It enables you to hoe along the rows very precisely. With automatic control? Yes, it's equipped with a camera that covers one or two rows. And you can see that on the terminal in the cab. You can set the tools so precisely that they can work up to two centimeters from the crop. Just two centimeters, yes, up to two centimeters. Here's the camera, and here's the parallel steering frame, which controls the hoeing tools very precisely. So I don't need to pay attention anymore. No, and you can hoe day and night even when it's dark. That's what the headlamps are for. They illuminate the two rows. And you couldn't hoe at night before, so you can get a lot done. Yeah, I can work around the clock. You can do that if you have to. It's important to hoe at the right time. Sometimes you just have to keep on working. What else do we have here? We have a coupling frame. You can equip your frame with this hoeing machine, or, for example, if you have other crops, couple a different hoeing machine. So a different hoeing machine is also possible. That's right, that's also possible, and you can use the same steering frame. That's one of the most important features. Another one is the hoeing technique, as that's what this is all about. This machine is equipped with hoeing elements. The working depth can be set easily and precisely with the spindle. Each element also has several hoeing tools, and they can also be adjusted. Because if the plants have already reached a certain size, we have to set them a little narrower. But if the plants are still small, we need to hoe as precisely as possible along the row. Really close to the row. Very close, because that's important, so we can hoe everything. In addition, we also have weed harrows behind for the loosened weeds to remove the earth from the weeds, especially the weed seedlings. So it's a kind of further cultivation, getting the weeds out of the soil. That's right, a further cultivation step after the hoeing and another step I want to talk about now. Hoeing between the rows is what's important here. But we also want to work in the row. We've got these finger weeders for that. They work independently. We can increase the pressure and decrease the pressure. They rotate and go around the seedling. And so we can also remove weeds in the row because that's the biggest problem. That's right. It works between the rows, but the difficulty is here. And now we also know that they can interlock as they rotate without damaging the plant. Very good. Yes, the biggest advantages are the steering frame, the adjustable hoeing tools, and the finger weeders. And finally, here we have the discs. Very small plants can be easily damaged or covered with soil, so the protection discs are lowered to protect the little plants. Okay, as extra protection. That's right. As soon as the plants are larger, 
The discs are put back into a parking position, like they are now. So that was the theoretical part. Now let's go and look at it all in action in the field. So Bert, I explained a few things back at the farm, and now I'd say, let's try it out. Let's do it, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, here we can see the result of hoeing between the rows and hoeing in the row with the finger weeders. You can get them out easily. Yes, they come out well, and that's important. Weeds steal air, light, and energy from the plants. So, the fewer weeds, the better. And that's the great thing about the finger weeders. Yes, because weeds in the row are a nuisance. That's right, and it's advisable to start hoeing in good time, as the smaller the weeds, the easier they are to remove. Yes, and the beans look good. Yes, looking at the result, I'd say it worked well. I'm very happy. And again, as well as hoeing between and in the rows, the finger weeders do excellent work. And the results are very good. Oh, I have something else for you. Okay. Bert, first of all, I'd like to thank you. And welcome to the L-Team. Thank you very much. Good luck. I'm very happy. That's what I like to hear. Excellent. We'll stay in touch. Okay, bye.